I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going on our very first overnight trip with our Tesla. So that means we are packing up our family of five and my dog, so six total in this vehicle. We're going all the way down to Bowling Green, Kentucky, which is really not that far. It's like an hour away, but we just want to do a little weekend getaway. And so we're really excited to take this car out for the very first time overnight. So we'll get to charge it up at a Tesla supercharger and everything. So we're just going to take you on a quick look around the car to see how we packed it up. And after we show you guys that, then we're going to show you guys everybody inside the car and then we'll take you on our trip with us. Let's go. This is how we have the frunk packed up. We have my husband's duffel bag here and then we have my bag as well. These are both, I want to say like large mid-sized bags. So we were able to fit both of these in here. I wanted to keep mine away from the kids' stuff just in case it got poked or something because I like this bag a lot and I don't want it to get hurt. <laughs> so those are what we have in the front, so my husband's and mine. And then in the trunk, we didn't utilize any of the um, underneath storage space. We didn't really need to. But the great thing about this trunk is that we have my dog. She is a Cavalier. King Charles Spaniel. We have her crate down under here. Um, so I know a lot of people have wire crates like this for their dogs. This is a size small. And we have her bed pad here. We wanted to keep it covered so all the hair didn't go all over everything. So we have that there as well. We also have my 12 year old's bag, his overnight bag here. My nine year old's bag right over here as well. And then we have my five year old's bag sitting on top. So we had plenty of space for everything just for an overnight trip. So right in front of that, we are going to be utilizing the third row this trip. We have my son over here who is nine. We have him in a smaller booster seat and then we have my five-year-old sitting over here in a normal size booster seat. As you guys saw in one of my previous videos, we have the Luno fan for these types of trips when we have the kids in the third row like this. And we just wanted to show you real quick how this works. This puts out so much air. As a lot of you know, the third row does not have air conditioners or vents of any kind. So you just have to rely on that to send it all the way up in the very back. So that's why we have this. We're going to show you guys what we have going on back here. So an anchor. This is my husband. <laughs> Hi, Deb. We have an anchor power block. Mm -hmm. We'll just set that up right there. I'm also going to plug in Jensen's switch cable mm -hmm. to that. And then he can control it right here. So we'll just see how many settings we have here. So that's level one, two, it's putting out a lot of air. It's great. And that's all we have going on in the third row. Let's go ahead and move into the second row. So in here, I actually have my dog's booster seat. She's going to be sitting right behind the driver. My husband likes to sit really far back. So I thought my 12 year old who's going to be sitting over here would like a little more leg room. So we have him sitting over here. Emma will be here. And then this is actually her little doggy bag down here for this trip. So in here we have her water bowl, we have her dog food, leash, like everything she could possibly need is in there. <laughs> so let's go ahead and pull everybody out from the house and get everybody in here. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah! Yes. Yeah, they're so excited. <laughs> so here we have Emma sitting in the second row with Caleb. Emma. <laughs> everybody has their games. <laughs> There's Shut Jensen and Colton. Let's come around the other side here. Everybody's all set up. We got our fan going. Hi. Everybody has their Nintendo Switches and their iPads. <laughs> Should be a nice quiet ride. And we have been able to close this all the way. We just been pushing it in a little bit, hitting the button. And no problem. Hey guys, so we just started our trip and everybody's doing really well. It's Nobody, yes, it's very quiet because everybody has their headphones on. I made sure that they all brought those this time because sometimes it can be a little overwhelming listening to three different sets of electronics, three different like music or whatever they're playing. It gets a little crazy. So um, nobody has complained back there about being hot yet. Today it is, it says it's 66 out and with you know, the sunroof and it's a nice sunny day. Um, we were wondering how warm it would be in here for everybody, but it's pretty comfortable so far. And uh, yeah, there's Emma. I think she's already laying down. <laughs> she's so cute. And then Caleb's back here. What are you doing? 
<laughs> All right, so let's look at our trip so We're far. We're going from Clarksville, Tennessee to Bowling Green, Kentucky. There is where our hotel is, as we will arrive at 311. Um, which is an hour and two minutes away, and by the time we get there, we will have 65% power. That's with, uh, we charged it to 90% for this that's, trip. That's right, and we are currently at 87%, so we are doing real well, I think, so far. Absolutely. I mean, we wouldn't even need to go to the, the supercharger route when I try it out. Yes. To see, uh, this is like a test for future trips for us. That's right, because this is, like I said, this is our very first trip, so let's go. So we just made it to our hotel and we didn't have any complaints from anybody in here about it being too hot or anything. Even the third row, they got a little warm at one point so they decided to turn up the uh, little fan by one more notch and uh, Emma's been just the best. <laughs> such a good girl. <laughs> and it's been such a quiet drive so we just made it to our hotel. We have about 64% power left so we are going to go ahead and do a supercharge at some point today, but technically we could make it home if we oh, yeah. wanted to um, with 64%. So. And it was predicting 65, but then I went and checked in. So that's it's pretty right. Much, and uh, we've, right been, we've been using the air conditioner a lot. It's 73 degrees outside. So um, it's a little bit warmer today, which has been really nice. And it's so beautiful out. After we get um, Emma all set up in the hotel room, we are gonna go and have some pizza at Mellow Mushroom, which is so good. I'm so hungry because I skipped eating today, so I'm starving, I'm ready to eat. And then after that, we're gonna go to Cheney's Dairy Barn, which is the best ice cream ever. They have the best. So I'm really excited to get some banana pudding ice cream. <laughs> uh, that sounds nasty. It's so good though. The lady in there was talking about their chicken salad was amazing, so. Chicken salad. I don't yes. like chicken salad, but I mean, you can have that yeah, if you want. I'm good. <laughs> All Let's right. go do it. Yeah. All right, off we go. This is Emma's first time in a hotel. <laughs> My first time in this hotel. Yeah, mine too. Colton, hold it open. <laughs> oh, we're all struggling. Good job. Oh, wow. This is our room. Okay. This is easy to get in Go ahead, guys. That's too easy. That's so nice because that's where the doggy area is, too. Come on, Emma. Inside. Whoa. So, this is our room. I'm going to just let her go. This is how big it is. I want to sleep here. No, we already have a plan. Where's Emma at? Got a little pull out couch. Where's Emma at? She's right over there. She's sniffing around. Emma's checking out the couch. Yeah, are you so happy? <laughs> She's so excited. This is the last room before the door. So we have a little kitchenette over here with a fridge, a little bathroom, let's turn on the light. Very simple. Where are you going, Ed? So change of plans. <laughs> Things don't always work out the way you want to um, <laughs> when you're traveling. Spontaneously. We, yeah, and yeah, this is a very spontaneous trip. Like, we didn't know we were doing this when we woke up this morning, and um, <laughs> that's him. He's the super spontaneous one. He wants to go places at the drop of a hat, and I'm like, sure, why not? So, um, <laughs> we didn't happen Mom, to look. What? I have 19%. Oh my goodness, I guess we'll have to charge it. Yeah, charge it, charge it. You'll charge be fine. It. You'll be fine. <laughs> we'll do it in just a few minutes, okay? We're almost to the place we're gonna eat, which is not um, the pizza place. We ended up having to choose a different place, so we're going to Texas Roadhouse, so why yeah, not? Yeah, one burger. <laughs> you want oh, a burger? <laughs> because I'm, I never had a burger. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. You've had a lot of burgers in your life, buddy. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go to Texas I Roadhouse. We're just gonna stay somewhere local in Bowling Green for ice cream. Yeah, that. yeah, because I'm, uh, I'm get, dying wanna, for something sweet. Yeah, I think it'll, uh, I think it'll work out. Yeah, so we're excited. We're, I'm, I'm excited because I get to eat and I'm very hungry. So we're gonna go ahead and do that instead. And uh, then we'll head back to the hotel after we get our ice cream and go see how Emma's oh, we're doing. Get the supercharger first. Oh, is that what we're doing first? Yes. Okay, I didn't after know that. After the ice cream. 
All right, we're heading to the supercharger after the ice cream. So we made it to Texas Roadhouse. We just got our food. Everything looks delicious. Everybody's enjoying their food. And um, we decided we're gonna go to Brewster's after this to get our ice cream. So there's a few different places that are just all closed on a Sunday. And we're gonna enjoy our meal and we're gonna go get our ice cream after this. Don't know what flavor we're gonna get yet. But they have a lot to choose from here. You know what you're getting, Jensen? What are you getting? The dinosaur thing. The dinosaur thing. What are you gonna get, Colton? I'm gonna get the dinosaur. The dinosaur. And Caleb, did you decide what you're getting yet? I wanted the like <coughs> worm thingies with the dirt. Like, the dirt. I, I wanted one of like the mud pie type of thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. We have our Brewster's ice like creams here. Yeah. We got a couple of these yummy looking peanut butter cup sundaes. A non dairy scoop for our yeah, non dairy it's, boy. It's a treat on a treat. A treat on a treat. That's right. All right. This one with the dinosaur. We actually got two of those and one more sundae over there. So everybody's looking forward to eating these. Shall we? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Bowling Green Tesla Supercharger, as you can see over there. It's like it's next to. This is where we are. Shopping center here. You can go in there and shop. And I can see a whole bunch of them lined up over there. Nobody is there. <laughs> Nobody's there, so we have the whole place to ourselves. This yeah. is my first time going to a supercharger. Two, actually, yours actually, too. Preconditioning the battery right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. <laughs> This one dude wants to go all the way over here. One car over here. <laughs> here we go. Got to back in, so. That's like my back least in. favorite thing to do, back in. Yeah. There we go. All right, I will go connect us. All right. My car with the supercharger for the very first time. I'm super excited. I hope I did it right. <laughs> so here we go. Oh, I did it! Okay. Into the port. That should be it. Well, it's blue. Gotta wait for it to turn green. Come on! It's green! All right. Yay! So we started at 57% power and we're already at 60%. We have it set to the charge limit of 80% and we have 15 minutes remaining. We are getting 84 kilowatts at 287 miles an hour. So, <laughs> so it's a little bit low. It goes up to 150 kilowatts. So really? We'll, but that's because we're already I mean, at, we're already at 57%. 15 so. minutes isn't bad though. Well, it's, we're already at so. 57%. So if we were lower, it would be the max speed probably. Uh -uh. Okay. So we'll hang out here for another 10 minutes, watch some uh, Netflix or YouTube. Maybe. Yeah. So we just finished charging and I think it only took us like 15 minutes, 15, 17 minutes ish. Yeah. And um, we're ready to go now. So I think we're just going to head back to the hotel, relax a little bit, play with the puppy, and then we're going to go do some swimming. <laughs> go see Emma. Where is she? Hi. Are you so happy? Hi. We missed you. Good girl. <laughs> hey! Emma. Oh, good girl. <laughs> so we're getting ready to head off to bed here, and this bed is super comfortable. I can't wait to fall asleep in it. The kids are all super wiped out from playing in the pool. They had such a great time. This is how our setup is. We got these two boys over here in this bed. And I had then, the biggest school. Yeah, Caleb over there in the couch over there, and then Emma is all the way down here. And she has been such a good girl. Yeah. She's such a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> and tomorrow we have an early wake up. We're going to be waking up at 5.30 and we're going to hit breakfast. It's Sunday right now. So tomorrow is Monday. The kids have school. <laughs> so Sunday. we kind of have to, except for that one over there. Um, but yeah, we have to rush back home basically and make sure the kids get to school on time. So <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. All ready for breakfast. It's 6 a.m. We woke up at 5.30. We all had a pretty rough night. The beds were really comfortable, but the kids were so noisy. <laughs> Could not sleep last night. What are you making? A waffle. A waffle. 
Everybody's almost done with their breakfast. I'm already done. We've um, had muffins. And I cereal. already got waffles. I already finished my waffles. Good job. Cranberry juice. Eggs. Everybody is just eating. All right. I'm gonna let her go potty one more time too. Yeah, that book. All right, we'll see you over there. All right, bye. bye. See you guys in a minute. Come on, Emma. Come on. <laughs> You're not missing out. Let's go potty one more time. We've got this nice little doggy spot over here. Come here, Emma. You go potty. Good girl. She had a successful potty, so now we're off to the car. <laughs> she doesn't know where she's going, but at least I do. We're right over there. Come on, Emma, over here. Here we are, it's still early. And we've changed up the setup this morning too. Emma's gonna be in the back row, the third row with Jensen. Caleb will be in the second row with Colton, our five-year-old. All right, let's go put her in the back row. One of the configurations we didn't show in our last video, which, which I will link right here for you guys, is with Emma in the back seat. So. I, I defeated one of them, Caleb. There we go. I I'll buckle up, Emma. I almost Good got girl. a wing cleaver. Uh, sit down. <laughs> So we just stopped for a Starbucks because after last night, we definitely need the caffeine boost. I always like to get the brown sugar espresso sh shaken oat milk thing. Like I can never remember what it's called. <laughs> the name is too long. Like they should shorten it for sure. But it's my favorite drink there. Well, I don't and, uh, I had a restful night last night. Yeah, you did. He had earplugs in and uh, we just didn't have a second pair. I could have used some for sure. But um, we should be getting to our destination in about an hour and 12 minutes. So we should be able to get the kids off to school right on time. We just started our trip about 10 minutes ago. So we are at 79% power. And at 8.16 a.m. is when we'll arrive. So an hour and seven minutes, 54 miles. And it says we'll get back with 57% power. We made it home. So we actually got home at 8.17, exactly when it said, and we did get here like a second ago and it said 57%. So uh, it was dead on about when we were going to arrive. So we are very happy with how that turned out. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming on our trip with us. We had a good time. Everybody's still in here. We have to rush and get ready for school real quick, ten but I don't yeah, we got go. 10 minutes. <laughs> this guy's off, but yeah. anyways, so uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.